designers are here. I'm Anita from Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. And we have tips and tricks and decorating advice for you. So let's get started. This is episode 41. Don't splurge on these dot, dot, dot. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this was a tough, tough one for me because I realized, and I know I came up with this topic, but then <laughs> when I looked around my house, I thought, wow, what would I say don't splurge on? Because there's so many things that I think, well, maybe in one day I wouldn't, but boy, I have splurged on this thing or that. So, um, so I think on mine, what I often do is not find a cheaper substitute for something, but I look for a cheaper source for the real mm. thing. So that's certainly that's one a good thing way that to I shop. Do. Yeah, <laughs> that's, you're yeah. a savvy shopper for mm-hmm. sure. Now and, I am the mm-hmm. I am a bargain shopper extraordinaire. Yeah. And like you, I like to buy nice things at a good mm-hmm. price. Yes. But I mix them good things with low end things that look really great. I think that's very smart. And, and- nobody can tell. Yeah, no, I, no. Your, your look mm-hmm. is very elegant and gorgeous. Mm-hmm. So give us one. What's something you wouldn't spend, um, John? I would on? not spend a lot of money on an accent chair. Mm, yes. And I think that's probably my number one. Um, now, my style is a little different than yours, Anita, my, and, and, and yours, Kelly. My style has a more, I want to say, now look. You have so many beautiful vintage chairs. You know, I get... Um, you know, classic modern chairs, Mm -hmm. but I think there's so many places to get a great chair and especially an accent chair that you are not sitting in day in and day out. You do not need to spend a lot or you can find them at a very reasonable price, vintage stores, secondhand Mm -hmm. stores that are in great shape that just need a little love. Well, oh, yeah, I'm, and you can even yeah. find those kinds of chairs at, uh, I know my TJ Maxx always has yes. like a little center mm-hmm. area. Absolutely. And they're so cute. And if, and, you know, and you don't want to spend a lot for an accent chair, particularly if it has really loud fabric on it or something that's mm-hmm. kind of like more, you know, maybe a summery look or uh, something in a, in a fuzzy kind of material that you might want to only use in the wintertime. You can do really well, I think, in yes. those off-price shops yes. for those kinds oh, well, of chairs. And even the gorgeous French chairs, I've gotten so many for $100 a chair. And it's, it's so, you know, to me, I think that's a great price for a beautiful, you know, hand-carved French chair. So, yeah, yes. I totally agree. And there's so many, Yvonne, you know, we work with so many fabulous companies, all three of us. I mean, I've gotten so many wonderful chairs online that were really inexpensive. So, yeah, there's lots of great sources. You don't have to spend a lot. And on here's a chair. the thing with an accent chair. You can really update your look with it and bring in something that's now and you don't have to keep it forever. Right. If you're not going to spend a lot of money, you maybe want something that has a little punch of uh, something that's on trend or something you think, oh, I'd really love this, but I might get tired of it. If you buy an inexpensive accent chair, then after a few years, okay, it's, it's, uh, been good enough. It's had its had time. Swear. Yeah. yeah. A friend for a season, season, right? A friend yeah. for a season. We love that. <laughs> How about you, Kelly? Well, ripping off the chairs, side tables. Mm, now, sometimes you see in point. catalogs, nightstands, or little side tables, an accent table. And, you know, there are hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Hello, mm-hmm. what yeah. are they made of? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're gold dipped. No, mm-hmm. I, side tables, oh, I, I must admit. There's probably 15 adorable side tables right beneath where I'm sitting right now in in my garage. (laughs) Don't tell me where it is. I'll have to come and look. I I cannot. No, you have to get rid of that mahogany table before you can buy it. Oh, that's right. It's still in my garage. in Lancaster County. No. Still in my garage. Well, I can't resist a cute side table with great bones. You know, Mm, so even Mm. yard sales, estate sales. Uh, even these, these sorts of off pipes places, I got the cutest one, um, gold with, uh, a, a mirrored top 
for my daughter's room oh, at my local TJ so Maxx. So cute, oh, yeah. very of the moment. Mm-hmm. You know, she mm-hmm. loves it. But usually, I'm going for the little sad little brown cast <laughs> off side. That's table. super cheap, right? Mm-hmm. And you know, you can paint it and make it fantastic. Oh yeah, you just drag it, stuff it in the trunk, and drag it home, and then you can make it, and you can keep making it different colors, or you can mm-hmm. strip it down. You know, they they get a lot of love when they get here. They're a little piled up. I have a lot of little fosters uh, side tables <laughs> I, need, I need to find homes for and right you, now because I don't have that many sides you know you just you can't yep, use them all yep. so and I love nice doing thing, that here's a nice way to use them Kelly is I paint them and use them outside yes oh, you don't there you care. go yeah because I don't care if they get one or two seasons they're really yes. you know useful and I do cute and fun. I do that too yeah and you know it's so much cheaper than buying um like something like an all weather if you get it for 10 15 dollars mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. just use it, paint it, and have fun. Right. Be in the moment with it. And when Absolutely. the moment's over, move on. So one of my uh, things that I would say you don't need to splurge on is, you know, and a lot of the bedding, I don't like the a lot of the bedding that looks kind of mass produced. I want something kind of unique looking. Mm-hmm. So one of my tips would be to find a source for old linen sheets. I actually have some. Shop.cedarhillfarmhouse.com. <laughs> Shameless. But, um, we'll say it all together. Okay. Shameless. <laughs> I just have a source. What can I say? <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, use that. Use an old vintage sheet as your bedspread. Mm. Anita, and we're talking after this podcast. Mm-hmm. And it's so much cheaper than buying some, you know, fancy duvet mm-hmm. or bedspread. And then you just kind of drape it over and it's got that just beautiful linen feel to mm. it. And that kind of, I mean, it does wrinkle, but I kind of mm-hmm. like the way it wrinkles. It just feels very authentic. So that's okay. something wrinkles are nice. Anita, can I ask you a question about that? Yes. Could you take two of those sheets, sew them together and put a duvet in them? Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? And then like put buttons at the top? Oh, yes. I think that will. And the monogram. Or just glue it, Yvonne. Just glue it. (laughs) I don't know that I could glue glue vintage linen. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, especially one of those with a gorgeous monogram Monogram. on it would Mm. be amazing on a duvet. Okay. I'll talk to you after the podcast about it. And I want to throw in one thing that I'm going to say. Go ahead and splurge on. I know this is don't splurge on this stuff. but this. All right. I hate when you go off topic. (laughs) No. no, no. It's a little side trip. This is just a little thing. Okay. Because I'm in a magazine this month. Oh, See? another one. Yeah, number twenty. Oh, oh my goodness, God. you oh go, girl. <laughs> but it's a French country style, and the editor is the adorable and talented Fifi O'Neill. And uh, my house and the book, my book, French accents are are in the magazine. I haven't even seen it yet, but congratulations! I saw... Well, thank you. Yes, mm-hmm. so go good check that you. one out. I mean, I I love having a magazine to hold in my hand, mm-hmm. and this is such a good one. So please go get one. And, and that is good. worth splurging on. You That's right. what I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What it, yeah. Okay. Not that right. it's a splurge. It's very reasonable. No, it's an inexpensive price. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's get back to what we're talking about here today. I okay. am. A fan of buying hardware for your cabinets, drawers, kitchen. If you're redoing a little table that has, needs knobs, there are so many great inexpensive sources. Even Home Depot's aisle, your local yes. hardware store mm-hmm. might mm-hmm. have a really brilliant buyer. I have oh, yeah. an Osh hardware store near me, and they hired a new person a few years ago. And whoever's doing the job there is doing a great job right now. I couldn't believe the treasures that I found in their knob and um, handle aisle. Mm -hmm. And um, another great online source is D Lawless Hardware. Oh, yes. yes. They're Mm -hmm. such a nice Mm -hmm. family-owned business Mm -hmm. and really reasonable because I think people, you know, you think, oh, I have to get this hardware and, oh, it's hardware and, oh, gosh, I have to spend, you know, like $30 a knob or something, you know, from all these sources that you, Mm -hmm. you know, the bigger sources that you know about. My mom just had an experience because they're doing a kitchen in, in a house that they're redoing right now. And she found ones that she liked, and they were like $22 a knob or something. And I was like, wow, oh. that's nuts. Okay. Well, yes. you're right. I and mean, you need, you know, you mm-hmm. think, oh, I just need a few. But when you start counting all the hand, the knobs and the handles and mm-hmm. things like that in a mm-hmm. kitchen, For it a really adds up. So she found, I said, go to some of these other online sources. Oh, my goodness. She found almost the exact ones for $8. Oh. And, Almost yes. every company is doing mm-hmm. 
all the finishes right now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in the years Mm -hmm. past, you could only get like shiny brass from the cheaper, less expensive companies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now they're all doing the the polished, uh, you know, uh, nickel and the oil rubbed and mm-hmm. a lot of them are doing the unlacquered brass so I would really tell you to look around mm-hmm. don't feel like you need to shell out a whole lot for that and I have one particular piece of hardware that I want to talk to you about is your uh, if a refrigerator or freezer handle mm-hmm. yeah and, oh uh, tell me yeah so those are super expensive and I was trying oh, to find to ones that would they you know, are Yes. Yeah, I was trying to find ones that would go with the knobs that I had chosen. Where I got vintage knobs at like a little vintage shop, and they happened to have. I was only one shy, but I was able to find one that matched. So I have little glass knobs, and but so you, I, mean, I wasn't going to do glass on the refrigerator and freezer. Get so out. I was looking around, and you did do glass. No, no, I was not oh, going to oh, do glass was, on those. Oh. No, and so I was looking around, and let me tell you, the, the least expensive refrigerator handles I found appliance handles is what the category mm-hmm. would be called mm-hmm. it was like $250 and I needed two because oh, yeah. my refrigerator oh. and freezer are yeah separate. I needed a new drawer because somebody I'm not going to mention who broke one and <laughs> they're like hundreds of dollars just okay. for a refrigerator yes. Yes. drawer stop the madness I'm walking in Home Depot down an aisle one day and I just like to sometimes look around Home Depot or hardware stores and get inspiration I know that's a little strange but like a field trip like a field trip and mm-hmm. just like what can I do with we, this we weird get piece you. We of get metal you, Kelly. we get you it know. I know that's why I love we you do. guys and all and the listeners they get us. Hi, I love being with you guys. So <laughs> it's a handle for a almost like a handicap or an elderly person's yes. shoe. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay? And it, mm-hmm. it was an oil rubbed brass. I I can't remember if it was Moen, but somebody like that, you know, like a very generic yes. brand. Yes. Okay, it was 9.99. Nine dollars. Did it fit? Oh yeah, and I have a Whoa. whole post on it. Oh, okay. You and I just the, did it with the prize my, today. My my client, yeah. uh, my client Allison. She just did her uh, kitchen, and I had shown her what I did, and she thought that was fabulous. So I picked them up for her, and she used them, and she has the. Uh, is that called when the freezer's on the bottom? Is that like French style and eaters? Mm-hmm. I think there's the, well, French style is when the, the doors, doors are side by sides side by side. Okay, well, and she there's has a drawer the, at the bottom. Okay, well, she just has one drawer at the bottom and the one on the side, and that looks brilliant. And she, and her uh, other finish in the kitchen was sort of an oil rub bronzy thing as well. Mm. Um, so it looks great, but they have them in chrome. You know, they're, wow. you're not going to be able to find them in, uh, you know, unlacquered brass, but hey, you know, come on. Fantastic. And they're, I mean, how much sturdier could they be? I mean, it says <laughs> on the box, it like holds a person that's like three, you know, up to 350 pounds, you know, there come you on. Go. Even my kids could do like, you know, the swinging trapeze from them. <laughs> when they, I don't know why they do that when they open their refrigerator, but they do. Yeah, it's not well, good for the seal on the door. Here's though. another <laughs> thing. <laughs> when we're talking about finding knobs and hardware, just go to a, re- uh, like a resale store mm-hmm. or yeah. a vintage or a salvage. Stores? Yes, Habitat. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They have tons of knobs. And especially if you like something a little old and what do we say, crusty, rusty, chippy? Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, just you'll make, find it, lots of beautiful things there. Just yeah, just make sure they fit the holes. That's well, what you right. really have to fit do. Fit the holes. You can kind of you know mm-hmm. as long as they're not too mm-hmm. small, then they're not wiggling right. around. But here's the thing: get your count in your head and know which <laughs> one is going to be a knob and which one needs to be a handle. That's mm-hmm. true. So then when yeah. you're there, you know, I bought them and I was like, oh, I'm close. I was one off, but I you know, one I could fix when I made a handle instead of a knob. It was okay. But just mm-hmm. keep you know keep your count mm-hmm. in your head when you're doing that. Mm-hmm. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well, and it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. 
Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, what do you, Anita, do you have another one that you would not splurge on? Well, um, I'm not going to say I would not splurge on it, but this okay, is... Okay, you t- can't participate then. <laughs> no, 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 I'm working. I'm working on it. You, I, uh, you missed the both. round. No, no, wait a minute. Stop. Come back to me. <laughs> this is She's your idea, like she can't lady. No, 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 no. No, I'm going to say breadboards. Now, the... Uh, the oh. The vent, a rep- I would say a reproduction or a new one. Now, the old ones are fantastic. They have all this age on them. But, you know, they're large and they're, you know, I've, I've sold them. They're, you know, they go for about $200. Mm-hmm. I mean, do. they're very expensive to buy wholesale. And, you know, there's only so many of them. So they're very expensive. So if you get a new one, I mean, you can get well under $100. And I'm talking like huge ones, mm-hmm. you know, a reproduction one for maybe 75 bucks or maybe even mm-hmm. 40 bucks. So, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, the smaller you get, the cheaper it's going to be. But definitely. And the other reason to go new on the breadboards is... These old breadboards, I mean, who knows where they've been stored, what's happened to them. I mean, I would not put food on them. Mm-hmm. A little bit of a germaphobe, I'm going to admit to that. And <laughs> I so apparently I live know. on the edge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it's not just germs. I mean, it could have been in some, you know, could have had gas. Okay, in. stop there. Come on, it's your turn. <laughs> so anyway, so get the new ones, uh, try the new ones, and then. You know, you can mix them with the old or just go on Well, all new. if you're like me, you can take your breadboard outside and leave it on your um, potting bench for the winter. <laughs> I don't think and, that'd be good for it to get all wet, though. But you know what? It didn't warp, and it looks amazing. Oh. It's oh, all okay. aged and good looking. I'm not sure I'm going to recommend mm-hmm. wood outside well, like no, that. Well, no, I didn't mean to. It was an accident. <laughs> But it was a happy accident. I love happy accidents. <laughs> All right, Yvonne, mm-hmm. what's yours? Well, mine is rugs, accent rugs. Mm, okay. You know, uh, again, decades ago, people used to spend all this money on these gorgeous rugs, Persian rugs, Orientals. Mm. And, oh, those very know, expensive ones. Yes. yes. And mm-hmm. I'm not too big into the repo reproduction um, Oriental carpets. They sort of look like they're reproductions but um you don't need to spend all that money accent rugs now we're talking relative it's not like buying a breadboard right but in um when we're talking about rugs an accent rug you can buy a really great accent rug at a reasonable price not only that that's another way again to update your look and when Mm -hmm. you're tired of it okay it's been there for a few years you're good with that Mm -hmm. i have my favorite is my zebra rug it's a real it's gorgeous. I love that. Rug. It's fun. It's a real hide, and I got it online. I'll, I'll put. But the, it's not um, real zebra. No, no. Actually, I've seen a real. Should I say I've seen a real zebra one somewhere? <laughs> That's okay. You okay. Didn't, you didn't. I mean, kill it. I mean, it's it is very vintage, mm-hmm. and they're a stunning. So I'm sure they've copied that look using a, a regular hide, mm-hmm, and right. they are 
It's so much fun. And I know you have high drugs as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing is, it's just like little, um, fun rugs that add color or pattern or texture that you're not stuck with it for decades because you've spent a lot of money on it. Well, I think, I mean, I love high drugs. I think they're great everywhere. So mm -hmm. I would think you would have a place for that somewhere forever. Oh, yeah, well, I think it's going to stay in my living room. It, well, I would too. Sure. Well, I have a, a faux high drug because I love mm -hmm. the look of it mm -hmm. and yeah, I love layering too. it. And mm -hmm. um, I believe I purchased mine from One King's Lane. I was kind of in the, mm -hmm. the blur of when we first moved into this house. So I can't, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was One King's Lane. So I'm going to look, mm -hmm. look for you and see if I can find one and put it in the show notes because it okay. was super reasonable. And, you know, it, it's, you know, obviously got the shape. It's got, it's furry and mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm to me looks just like a real one but it's fun sure yeah yeah well sure. you're in california so that works there <laughs> you're oh, so yeah. funny well no, no i'm in texas you yeah, have we don't to have a we real don't one. hunt zebra no well we here. don't either here. <laughs> <laughs> we just we don't do that We're don't even everybody. start those rumors <laughs> <laughs> okay so here's mine here's one okay is um now i do again i shouldn't say this but i do like buying the real Ironstone, not that, you know, we've already talked about it. It's not super expensive. But let's say you want that look of a collected Ironstone collection, mm -hmm. but you don't want to spend, you know, the money because some of these pieces can be kind of a little on the expensive side. So how about just having a few irons, real vintage Ironstone pieces, but mixing it with a bunch of brand new white dishes? Oh, yeah. And I, I don't... That's, I do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Especially I'm not that much of an iron... I love Ironstone, but I'm not an Ironstone snob. Well, no, I'm not either. I mean, yeah. I have a lot of these pieces from Home Goods, and mm -hmm. once you put them, for example, you know, in my kitchen cabinets, you can't tell whether it's new or old or whatever. I mean, sure. it just looks great. So Let, we'll put yeah. a couple sources in the show notes because mm -hmm. there are some great places yeah. to get very good fakes of ironstone, or or they're ironstone, but they're not vintage. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. even have a good source for vintage. Um, oh, good. yes. Um, it's. A, a, I, she's definitely a friend. I mean, I've never met her or anything, but we're just <laughs> friends from when I had my Etsy store way back when, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and she pops onto my blog all the time and Instagram. It's Kathy from All Things White. She and her family Ooh. run um, a few Etsy shops, and if you are now, want anything white, I mean, duh, wow. All Things White. Hello. And she always has darling things. You know, uh, not always dishes, but a variety of things. And um, they're all whites and creams. And I think you guys would really enjoy just even perusing what she has. But in sure. very reasonable prices. And a lovely lady. Awesome. Yeah. While we're talking about dishes, can I just sort of rift yes. off of that? Sure. And I'm going to say almost any kind of dishes. Mm. You do yeah. not need to spend a lot of money anymore. If you're looking mm -hmm. for... Right. For some reason, if you want formal dishes, don't buy new. They are so inexpensive out oh, there in vintage gosh. shops. Yeah, They're yeah. just basically giving them away. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, is you can go to big stores like, you know, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, um, even online, and buy sets of beautiful dishes. I mean, I'm a white dish person, mm -hmm. and they are very, very reasonable. Yeah, yep. get the and get the, get the vintage. There's so many gorgeous mm -hmm. vintage vintage dishes I see all the time in thrift stores and I think why doesn't somebody want this it's amazing but even if you don't if vintage isn't your thing and I can sort of understand that a mm -hmm. little bit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you you can get regular dishes you know everyday dishes beautiful dishes and you don't have to spend a lot of money mm -hmm. yeah and especially if you like white dishes because True. everybody yeah, has white, white right dishes now. yeah 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 yes. I mean my goodness I mean everybody. yes that's true yeah well, you know what I did about the dishes is um I was helping someone organize their house one of my clients and she had a whole set of china that was her mother's or mother-in-law's and she had no interest in it now I was just drooling because it's beautiful. And did it was come like, home in the trunk of your car? Yes. She was just like, it did? Oh, my. I don't want it. <laughs> just take it. So I thought, well, you know, isn't this smart? I, you know, I'm, I have to unearth it. Maybe I'll use it for some pictures mm. on the blog and whatnot. But what I decided was I'm just going to keep that extra set for one of my girls. So my oh. set, you know, which you registered for and you get yes. you piece yes. by piece and it costs people a lot of money. And this whole thing, well, I got it for free, but I'm probably if she tried to sell it, she couldn't have gotten more than like 25 bucks, 50 bucks for the whole set anyway. Mm -hmm. oh, so now I have sad. a whole set of China. And if they are interested in such a thing, they can, you know, 
arm wrestle for who gets what pattern. So Gina, they're all yeah. set. I have to tell you this, and um, Kelly, I mm-hmm. actually bought a hope chest for my daughter. I know Aww. it's a really old fashioned thing, Aww. but, so but I thought it would be fun to do that. And yeah. I filled it up and I did things like that, bought gorgeous sets of vintage oh, wow. dishes and all kinds of fun things. That's she, so sweet. Well, she didn't, did she want them? Not most of it. Oh, no. And I mean, it was yeah, Jackie. And, <laughs> I know. And she's a darling. But uh, it, yes, I know. Um, but yay for me because it's stuff I love. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> actually turned out to be a win-win is it, this like when i bought a teddy a bear for my mom and she didn't want it a when what? i was a kid a what and i bought i bought a teddy bear for my mom when i was little oh. and she didn't want it so i got it <laughs> there it's you like, go okay mm-hmm. well Perfect. the thing more I shopping wanna, more for me i want to <laughs> throw in a little tip about the vintage dishes because mm-hmm. people do worry about lead paint in the mm-hmm. dishes so most of them do not have lead in them but if you're concerned go to uh, lowe's or home depot and get a lead test kit And then you're just going to run it across. It's just a little, um, it almost looks like a pen. And you're just going to put it across the plates and it'll let you know. And of all my dishes, and I have tons and tons and tons of vintage dishes, embarrassingly so, I've only had one set turn up with positive. Wow. I didn't even know know. such a thing existed. And those are hand-painted ones. So most of them are fine. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Okay. I have one more uh, Mm -hmm. that I would not splurge on. And it's lamps. Now, if, it, if anyone mm. listened to the lamps episode, you already heard my spiel on lamps. I think they're difficult to buy. I don't mm, want to spend a whole lot of money on them. And I think mm-hmm. you can really find some great, interesting lamps at thrift stores. And then you can spray them. You can get them rewired. And so I don't generally spend a whole lot of money on lamps. But uh, we talked about that already. So I won't go too far into depth. Uh, Anita or Yvonne, do you have another one? Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy-to-reach goal is to add DOS to your wellness regime. DOS is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There is zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. 
Oh, goodness. I think that um, almost anything that you buy today, you know, here's my philosophy. It's This isn't a single item, but you want to look at the item and you want to think how long you want to have it. Do not mm-hmm. spend more than the years you want to have it. But, you know, Yvonne, back in the day, anytime we bought something, we thought we were going to have it for the rest mm-hmm. of our lives. And mm-hmm. for our parents, that was the, the way it was. When that they bought was. something, they never did get rid that of it. That was. But, but I mean, that is, that's so funny because that is so not my parents. They're, I, they're almost nomadic at this point. Like, <laughs> my mom just had the, a, a, more consigner people come and pick up her stuff. They're, they, um, it's funny. They don't like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But don't keep, don't, don't buy um, anything that is going to be so pricey that you don't want to keep mm-hmm. for a long, yeah. long, and long on the, time. On the lamps, I'm going to go back to that and say, mm-hmm. just be careful on the lamps because I think some, <clears throat> I think I like the idea of buying them at a vintage store. Then maybe they kind of have a funky, cool vibe. But, mm-hmm. you know, just some, of, I think just be careful with some of the less expensive lamps. Some of them can, can look inexpensive. So, you know, just be careful. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But if you're buying vintage, sometimes somebody else spent a whole lot of money on it, but they just oh, don't want it anymore. vintage, I think, is safer yes, than new. Yes, yes. As far yeah. as, because the, yes. the new inexpensive ones are all resin, but the old ones, usually you can paint them or right. dress them up with a new shade or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, mm. you know, again, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, like that. I just got glass. I mean, how could you mess with glass? You know, it's glass, bottom, with a burlap shade. Now, if I had gone to mm-hmm. a, a regular catalog or online or to a higher end a furniture store, mm-hmm. you'd easily pay 120, 200 oh, yeah. for the Definitely. base and the lamp. The yes. whole lamp was twenty two dollars. Wow, you that's can't amazing. Beat that. <laughs> that's yeah. pretty good. That's a buy. That's a okay. buy. Yeah, and if you see something, or they have the mercury glass bottoms, go mm-hmm. for it. Those mm-hmm. are pretty. Just, like, I they, drool yeah. over those. Yes, yes. pretty and such yes. a pop. Um, one other thing that I wanted to mention was uh, f- getting getting things framed. Uh, you know, in years mm-hmm. past, you would take it to the framing store, right. you know, get it mad. Like, you can do all that yourself now, you know, whether mm, it be, you know, you buy the mat at Joann's and you get, you get a frame at, at, you know, some someplace or you find a vintage frame and then you can put your own. If it's a standard size, it can be very inexpensive. Yeah. The non-standard yeah. sizes can, That's but true. since you can order stuff yourself online now Mm -hmm. you don't have to go to an expensive frame store so there are ways to do it less expensive and speaking of frames i think you don't don't splurge on frames you can get that's beautiful frames i agree for very inexpensive, even at Goodwill or Salvation Army, people and just I prefer are, are no fr- throwing them away. And yeah. I try to go with, if it's canvas, I don't even like Oh, well, if it's canvas, yep, absolutely. Yeah, you don't even need a frame. Mm. Such great mm. advice today. Anybody you know, have we had great more? advice mm-hmm. and a wonderful sponsor who's giving 30% off. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Let's you guys mention don't, that again. Don't forget this. I mean, definitely mm-hmm. try it. We're all, we're excited. We're trying it. We're loving it. We're loving the recipe. We're loving Hello it. Fresh. We Everything love you. Everything about yep. HelloFresh.com. Mm-hmm. So, and my daughter um, and I love to cook together. So, oh, that's so sweet. See, mm-hmm. and then you then you don't have to shop for it. You have time to to actually cook. So, it's HelloFresh.com. The code is DTT thirty, and uh, give them a try. So, and we'll put that in the show notes. Yeah, put it in the show mm-hmm. notes. So, we just want to remind you that we are here to help you create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey there, if you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast, we would love you to rate and review us. Head to iTunes to do that. It's easy and it would mean so much to us. And if you do rate and review us, we're going to enter you to win a fantastic giveaway. The details for the giveaway are in the show notes for this episode. And you can find the show notes at decoratingtipsandtricks.com.